Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video where I'm going to share some new Canon news with you guys that we've been updated on in the last 48 hours or so. Now it looks like C70 owners are about to get a lot of love with a new firmware that's going to be a free download available on December 8th. The beefiest feature in this upgrade is going to be the new focusing modes being added to the C70. Now, while these options may have already been usable in standard recording mode, you're now going to have access to these features in slow recording as well as accelerated fast recording so that you can take advantage of them when either recording in slow motion or at higher frame rates. Up next is going to be a new recording codec. The XFAVC 4K InfraFrame 60P is a new 4K codec that's going to allow recording at 600 Mbps. This is going to allow for video files to take up less storage, as well as help with faster transfers and allow you to record to a standard SD card. This is going to be absolutely helpful for anyone who doesn't always need the biggest file size, but still want to do 4K for the clips they're recording and not have to deal with huge files and slow transfers. Now, the third feature is that Canon is adding a Canon 709 custom picture profile which essentially from what they're saying will allow you to go into this profile, which will allow you to use an all-in-one high dynamic range HDR profile without the need to have to go into log and then color grade it afterwards. Now, without being able to see this in use, we can assume that doing the old fashioned recording and log and color grading manually is going to give you the best end result. But if this profile can still get you a really good result and it's something that you can just enable fast when you're shooting on the go and just running and gunning and still end up with an excellent high dynamic range result, this could be huge for many people who own this camera. Now we're also going to be getting CMT 709 viewing assistance with external monitors. So now if you're shooting in log two or log three and you're using an external monitor, instead of seeing a flat color profile, when this is enabled, the camera is going to try and do a basic color grade on the footage. That way you get a better idea of what it's going to look like, but on a larger monitor. Now there are high end external monitors that have LUT support that already lets you do something like this, but being able to do it directly from the camera into the monitor and not having to transfer LUTs or files or anything like that is an extremely convenient feature to have. And it's absolutely awesome that Canon has decided to add this. All right, we're also getting some remote control features. Canon's IP-based XC protocol will allow you to change and configure settings remotely using the Canon RC IP100 remote control. Now, this could be a game changer for anyone using multiple cameras with multiple shots. So now instead of having to go to each camera and manually change those settings, you can do it remotely from one place on all the different cameras you are currently using for your project. Now, the last piece of information we have about this firmware is in regards to two lenses and how the camera communicates with those two lenses. Now, those two lenses are as follows. The EF mount flex zoom 45 to 135 millimeter and the Cine Servo 15 to 120 millimeter lenses. Communication features include T-stop display, chromatic aberration correction, dual pixel CMOS autofocus, and dual pixel focus. There are also going to be a few minor updates that include maintaining camera settings when switching between normal and slow and fast recording modes and audio four channel display now viewable in the level meter display on the camera's LCD display. Now, again, this firmware update is going to be available on December 8th from Canon's website. Next up, we have confirmation that we are going to be getting a new lens for anyone using the R7, the R10 APS-C RF cameras this is a lens that you guys should be super excited about. It's going to be a 22 millimeter f2.0 pancake lens that is going to be an RFS lens. Now, this is going to essentially be the RF version of the EOS M22 millimeter pancake lens, which was always a favorite with anyone using the Canon M50 or the M6 series cameras. Now, this is going to be the first of probably many of the EOS M platform lenses that Canon carries over to the RFS platform. We are probably going to get the announcement of this lens in the first part of 2023 at the same time that Canon announces the new R50. Now, speaking of the Canon R50, if you watched my last video, you already know that Canon is planning on announcing this camera in early 2023, but we now have confirmation that there will be a second camera being announced at the same time as the R50. Unfortunately, we don't really have any information as of yet 
as to what that camera is. As soon as more information is available on either of these units, I will be the first to let you guys know right here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed. That way you see those updates. All right, guys, let me know below what you think of the news that I let you guys know today. If you are a C70 owner, how do you feel about this firmware? Also, are you guys excited about the new 22 millimeter F2 pancake lens that Canon is going to put out on the RFS platform? And I would love to see what you guys have speculation wise on what you think the next camera being announced alongside the R50 is going to be. All right, as always, if you found the video useful, hit that like button as it helps the channel and the video greatly, as well as consider subscribing to the channel for all your tech and camera related news and review needs. And with that being said, until next time.